hello guys this is sajid back again with another video uh, this video is regarding chatapi.com some developers are facing issues with the chat api the api is sending message sometimes and sometimes it is not sending message even though it returns 200 status code they are right yes there are some issues running with the chat api before they were unofficial and now they they are official whatsapp partner so they are they made some change in the API and now they follow the WhatsApp standards, rules, regulation and policies. The pricing is same but uh, the way API work is totally changed. I scroll down. First time you will send a template. Okay. Your first message should be a template and uh, you will create this template inside uh, the chat API dashboard then WhatsApp will review your template and either they will accept or reject template is nothing but uh, approved message from WhatsApp okay so template is something like your initial message your first message which you send to your customer but this message is uh, whatsapp will uh, approve this message okay so you will create the template first and whatsapp will review either they will approve or unapprove if they approve then you can you you can use that uh, template and send to your customer okay uh, after sending a template you can send normal messages okay this is how whatsapp work and uh, chat api now follow the whatsapp uh, rules and regulation so first as i told you you will need to create a template okay you can see they are passing template name and namespace all these things so how to create a template you will need to go to your dashboard login and go to your dashboard and i have one instance running i click on it uh, here you can see in the url uh the instance id and the token i will hide this in the video before uploading because the this is something which i don't want to explore expose publicly and here you can see the template button so i click on plus and i create a new template okay every template has a name category and language and all these three fields are required make sure to enter correct data because uh, whatsapp will review re review these things and uh, if they are against the the rules and regulation then whatsapp can reject or unapprove your template so let's say i want to send a, a message or i want to create a template for uh, for a hotel so the template name should be something like uh, yt I'm recording this video for YouTube so I say YT so that so that I can delete this letter uh, YT reservation okay success when someone successfully reserve a room then I will send a message a template okay and then uh, uh, I choose the language so English here every template has four parts header body footer and button okay so header can be empty you can see this is optional footer can be empty optional buttons can be empty optional so let's say here in the header i say i write something like uh from like the my customer will receive this message from me so i want to tell him that you receive this message from xyz uh, hotel okay from and then i will enter a, a variable here a placeholder here okay so here uh uh, let's say in the variable this is example like xyz xyz hotel okay uh, so you can see you can also define variables here and even you can add media for media let's say image then you will pass uh, a link 
something okay media media url but for now i want to go uh, very very simple so you can see okay your room is reserved successfully and the invoice is sent to your email address let me check i make just as i think here i use uh, uh, my my virus my hotel this is my this is the hotel there yeah it is saved now <laughs> okay so you can ah uh, it will you know it is not appearing here this is the, there is some problem with the template but sometimes it appears sometimes not something is going wrong with the chat api but the template is creating and maybe after a while it will be visible here okay and the default the default status okay the default status is uh, submitted okay and uh, if the words have approved then you will see the status will be something like approved and when, when the uh, uh, whatsapp rejected then the the status changed to rejected okay so the current status is submitted but unfortunately ah so it appeared okay these are some dummy uh, and you can see uh, these are the statuses these are some dummy uh, our one our template is start this is the one you can see oh it immediately approved very quickly but as you some sometime it takes long time so now if i go to the website how i will send this template now you can see uh name then template name okay you know the the template name if you if you click on it this is the template name okay you will pass it here now the namespace okay where you will find the namespace and uh, the language okay so the language you you already know that we used english policy is always deterministic but from where you will you will you will uh, you will know from uh, what is your a namespace and how you will pass the variable like in the header you use from and then you will pass the uh, your username so i will suggest i will uh, this is uh, apis okay uh, uh, i will attach this link in the description okay so first i i want to know how many template i have okay i want to know uh the you can see now this description is very little okay i want to know more detail of for my template okay so if you use the api like if you list all these templates through api uh then you will see more more detail of your template so here like uh, it is what is my instance name so i go and i uh, i copy my instance name just make sure you you put the number here okay you remove instance uh only put the number and then click on authorize and here put your token okay and then click on authorize and then scroll down there is one api called templates you see this click on try it out button and then click on execute so you will see all your templates here uh, it is still loading like you will see all the templates which you see here but now you will see with more details okay here we have only name category and status okay here you can see we have around 40 templates and uh, like some templates are these are dummy templates you can see every template has a category and there are some components okay how, like uh, as i told you like a template can have four components like body header footer body and buttons okay then you can see the language you can see the name you can see the uh, namespace then you can see the rejected reason then you can see the status okay uh, i just go and i just find uh, 
this template okay here and you can see uh, this is the template okay so just focus on only this uh, this this template this object here you can see the namespace uh, the name so what you need you need uh, the template name the namespace okay which you can get from here both then you need also need language the language is uh, which you can get from here okay and then you need uh, policy policy is always deterministic okay this value is static and you will pass this phone number okay the the receiver phone okay and now here uh, the instance id you will get from your dashboard like uh, you can see i will hide but you will see on this page when you click on your instance running instance so here uh, on the top you will see your instance id and token okay here token now one thing is left here like uh, how you will pass the parameters okay uh, like the variables let's say uh, you can have variable in the header also in the footer also uh, sorry uh, very i think variable is not possible in the footer but you can have the header you can have the body so how you will pass variables okay uh, in this example we have no variable so ms a template can have variable can have no variable so i show you one example you can see uh, the same like this uh, I'm, I'm passing JSON so a template lamp language uh, namespace and then here I can you can see the parameters parameters are something like uh, variables okay the parameter or the variable which we pass okay so here I have one variable uh, I will say I will I will write something like header and uh, uh, then the parameter is a uh, text yes and let's say uh, the value is uh, x y z to tell okay so you will pass extra something like if i have two variables in the header let's say then i will do something like this now currently i have one but if i have multiple then i can say the second variable is also test and, and uh, another value okay i can pass and maybe okay this is header so i have two very values uh, in the header what if i have oh, also one value in the in the body so i will do something like this okay uh, maybe some value okay so this can be media also uh, i use text so this is how you will pass the parameters okay so for in order to send first message to a number a whatsapp account which is new when there is no old shared history then you must need to send a verified approved uh, template okay after that you can start sending messages okay simple but if you try to send message to a number uh, where there is no chat history between you and that uh, and that phone number then uh, uh, the message will not work okay first you need to send a template you understand so here you can see how the language is and here you can see how the language is okay the same procedure you will do with the parameters okay so that's it uh, the only difference uh, which chat api.com introduced is uh, template okay